in question number 52 the position vector r is given and if we comparing this position vector we get x equal to 4 sin 2 pi t and y equal to 4 cos 2 pi t by taking the equation of trajectory we will get x square plus y square equal to 4 square so we can conclude that the path will be circular and having radius of 4 meter and differentiating the equation number 1 we will get the velocity vector equal to 8 pi cos 2 pi d i cap minus 8 pi sin 2 pi d j cap and after taking the magnitude we observe that the velocity is root 2 into 8 pi and that in the fourth option the velocity is given 8 meter per second so obviously the option 4 is the correct answer because it is wrong in question number 153 we are provided with a string that is stretched between the two points and the string is said to be of the length 75 centimeter. Now it has been said that the string has two resonant frequencies. One is 420 hertz, the other one is 315 hertz. In the next line it says that these two, between these two frequencies, there are no other resonant frequencies. That simply tells us that these two frequencies are the two consecutive frequencies. So if the two frequencies are the consecutive frequencies, we can write down the formula as if one frequency of the stretch string b p v upon 2l and that is equals to 315 hertz where p is the number of harmonic v is the speed of the transverse wave in the string and l is the length of the string so the next higher harmonic will be p plus 1 so the next higher harmonic will be p plus 1 v upon 2l and that is given to be 420 hertz if i say that this is equation number second and this is equation number one so we can say subtracting the first equation from the second one will easily obtain that v upon 2l is equals to 105 hertz and this is the minimum possible frequency that is heard from this uh, or we can say this is the lowest resonant frequency obtained from the string. So according to the option, the answer is 1. In question number 154, we want to make the rotation of rod perpendicular to the axis. So definitely the system should be uh, arranged in such a way that the rotation should be take about the center of mass. Since we considered the point P as the center of mass and if we taking P as origin, then for two particle system, we can direct down, write down M1 X1 equal to M2 X2. So finally, M1 into X equal to M2 L minus X and after solving X equal to M2 L upon M1 plus M2. So option 1 is the correct answer.